Hey, I've ordered a speed UTV. Uh, how can I find out if it's going to fit in my trailer? Okay, that's a valid question. I mean, it's right? the same question I had because 77 inches is a lot of inches in a trailer. It couldn't have fit in the stealth, right? No, we definitely could not have gotten that in our old trailer. I mean, you're going to see some video in a minute showing that. But that's, uh, um, we're going to show you a couple ways in this video to that one, you can figure out if it'll fit. And one way that maybe you can make it fit in your trailer, one way that maybe you can make it fit in your trailer if it doesn't currently. It, where, there's a, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, But you do have to have the width. I mean, that's important. It's a wide car. Um, the thing is, so the thing is, so many people, you think about it, you know, a lot of us are, up, a lot of us off-roaders are just working class people, right? right? And we have half of our life savings or 375% of our life savings. All of it, every wrapped, single thing over, yeah, over it. Wrapped up in one of these guys mm -hmm. and a trailer to pull it around. And so if you go out and buy this car, it's not like, oh, you know, I need a different trailer. Just go grab one. It doesn't work that way for most it of us. It doesn't work that way for most of us. So you, what you do is you uh, figure out how to make it fit. And there's been people that have had the same problem, obviously, and so there are businesses out there that can make it fit. Make it fit. So we'll show you that. Yeah, and then if you can't make it fit, then well, you must have quit. A quit. Uh, get in the trailer you have and get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll be right back. Wheelbase. We've talked about the wheelbase. When I first started, over to my right, over here, um, we have our Dakar vehicle, 77 inch, 110 inch wheelbase. That's the middle of the road car in Speed UTV. It is 110 inch wheelbase, 77 inches wide. Okay, so. Yeah, like we were saying, the width is the big problem because. So you you can extend your trailer and we'll show you that in a minute coming up. But uh, what that would help with, it'd be like a case like we're gonna show you right now where um, our trailer was, it was, it was wide enough in the cargo area, but the car being as long as it is, we had to park the car up next to the oven cabinets kitchen cabinets because it's a small trailer so middle of the line he says like um wheelbase on that one is 110 inch correct wheelbase 110 inches is what well uh, we're gonna come back to that because we're okay. going over we have a spreadsheet with oh, yeah. with a bunch of measurements or with a bunch of uh, dimensions of cars we sure do Okay, so in our case, uh, I don't know, I would have to measure our old trailer, which we can't do because we don't have it anymore. We don't have it. But what's coming up might have actually, if this was an option on our old trailer, might have worked out for us to make that car fit. I'm not sure. I think um, if I am doing the math in my head right, I think it would have made it fit. Yeah, but let's say, let's say you are 
a foot short of this car fitting in your trailer and that could be for you know varying reasons maybe your cargo area is technically long enough but now you're buying a wider car so it doesn't fit next to the oven and the kitchen cabinets stuff that kind of thing which like is, we're going to show I mean, you technically our trailer spec wise had a 13 foot toy box and our can am is only 11 feet the toy box is not 13 usable feet for a car as wide as we have, which is only 72 inches, unless you take your oven door off and cram it in. We did it. Ratchet straps. But there are other 77 wouldn't have fit. But we could have made it work with this product that we're going to show you. Well, technically, I found out the other day, our car in its current configuration with these paddles right there is actually... 77 inches wide right now. Okay, so then that means it definitely wouldn't fit because you told that would have been 82 with the no, offset? No, it definitely would have fit because it's 72, 77 inches right now as it sets. Oh. With the paddles on. <laughs> the w option we just showed you um you know i think it goes up to three feet so if you're three feet shy of um that car fitting in your trailer that's an option you can extend your trailer how's uh, our trailer now what where are we looking at if we wanted that car now would it fit in our garage it'll fit so but anyway the, those trailer extensions i think they go up to three feet uh, they started, I think it's one feet, two feet, three feet. And we actually know of a couple of people, Dean being one of them, Dean, that he's my cousin you see on the channel, Who extended his own uh, trailer, did his own extension by six inches. Okay, so uh, we know. Something. Okay, so like we said, um, if your, if your, uh, our car started off 72, we had about, what, a five inch overstock offset that put us at 77. If you had the same offset wheels and tires as we do on this car right here, on a speed speed they'd speed utv speed side by side yeah you would be um, if it was five inches over you'd be sitting at 82 inches yeah now robbie did mention that all of his wheels there's no offset and the reason for that is uh, suspension geometry so i'm going to assume that he probably expects people to run that kind of wheel with paddles i'm assuming so in that case maybe it would still fit because you're still at 77 inches wide very interesting that's a good question i'm going to ask it during the next live uh the next video yeah okay so here's a spreadsheet and data what, yeah what is this what do we have here well here we have a spreadsheet that's going to give you a bunch of different um specs for all of the different side by sides that are available as it stands right now in the market we're talking about the different polaris razor models we're talking about the yamaha the yxz we're talking about the honda talon we're going to go into the of obviously our baby the canam um and then the speed utv spec so you can see for yourselves Pause it for a minute when this comes up and just look it over. Take the measurements in your trailer, get an extension, work it out. But here we go. We're giving this to you. You're welcome. Yeah, you can pause it or we'll leave this up for, for a minute and that'll give you also a chance to subscribe, like, and comment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do that while you're at it because there's going to be some more stuff coming your way. And if you haven't, speaking of, this is a good intermission for me to tell you. Pause it. While you're paused, subscribe. And then below in the description, click the link to get to our video for the Oxbeam giveaway so that you can get yourself a, a pair of the headlights that we just recently installed in Boosty. They're amazing, awesome, super bright. And um, you'll get all the official rules and details in that video. But you got a link below because if you don't follow the rules, you can't win the headlights. Sorry. Patreon also. I'm going to put that down below, but you should definitely check it out. Um, it helps us. We have some goals in mind and we want to, um, we want to be, we want to be your friend. So thank you guys. We'll be back. Okay. So there's some more measurements coming up. Uh, Robbie's actually going to go over some of the measurements of the car because it helps uh, with, if you have a trailer that has a slide on it. If you have a trailer that has a slide that can sometimes interfere with, uh, with your width uh calculation so you got to be conscious if you have to buy a new trailer then you should definitely go down to the place or talk to somebody who you trust that can actually take measurements for you because yeah. sometimes that does throw things off and know the measurements of your car and that there's measurements coming up that will that will shed some more light on that yeah that is the utt over on my right we have our prototype four seater the four seater is a 120 inch wheelbase I believe today that's the shortest performance wheelbase four-seater on the market. The new Razor is 125-inch wheelbase. 
and that shorter wheelbase will help us one on the trails the narrow trails but it will also help us in the sand dunes from getting high centered longer wheelbase might ride a little bit better but i think the optimum four seat wheelbase is 120 inches okay so like we said um those are you know that's more information those numbers he just gave uh we showed you the numbers on a on a spreadsheet that we Brandy gathered them together. all together i'm gathered a gatherer together. yeah I've got an upper view here that gives you the width. We've had a lot of questions. Hey, I've ordered a speed UTV. Uh, how can I find out if it's going to fit in my trailer? So the widest point on the car from this point to this point is 77 inches wide. Okay. Again, keep in mind that that's with stock. He's measuring from the widest part of the car and saying 77 inches. So again, yeah. with stock wheels and with tires, it's seven, tires. 77. Uh, I don't know what the expectation is going to be as far as, like we said, wheels for paddles so as far, as far as offset goes we need to ask that question because that's going to be a big uh i mean you need to know that right because five inches from 77 to 82 77 is already pretty wide why is side by side out there um add five inches onto that if the offset's kind of similar to where we sit we need to know uh, daniel did a nice job here today um putting this presentation together uh, this question is frequently asked um the widest width on the body is 65 inches. We bumped up our, our fender width just a little bit over what we've done in the past. Um, overall length uh, is 41 inches. I guess we didn't put that on here. We are 41 in next slide. Previous, Previous slide. Okay. Uh, overall length. Oh, there we go. Is um, 41 inches. 41 inches on top of your wheelbase. So when you work on your wheelbase, front to rear, front to rear, we are 41 inches longer than your wheelbase. So if we're 120 inches, that means we're 161 inches overall. Okay, so again, here's the spreadsheet we showed earlier. This has the dimensions of all the cars. So, so basically what he said to you, which is really easy to remember, if you add, this is true for all of the models. That's the UTT, the four seater and the two seater. If you add 41 inches to the wheelbase of any of those models, that's going to give you the overall length. On your four-seater, from the front of your front tires, which is your leading most point, to the back of your rear tailgate. Hopefully I answered that. Uh, people that have slides, 6.5 inches from the outside sidewall of the tire to the fender. 6.5 inches will be your width 6.5 inches inset from the fender okay so if you take 77 inches wide leave yourself what a couple of inches on one side you so don't want to rubbing up against your trailer yeah. wall so what that's 78 79 so about 79 inches you take off 6.5 inches from that 79 so you end up with um yep you get 78 72.5 five about 72.5 so there. that's how much space you need from your from the wall to the edge of your slide when it's in for the car to fit right and i think that's totally doable it's again just like lengthwise then at that point where your cabinets and stuff fall so but that's where the extension comes into play right yeah. well if the extension is long enough to put your car completely behind okay the slide yeah if it's not then it doesn't help anyway that's um that's it that's probably as much as we can cover. We'll Look it up, check the numbers. My my best advice, our best advice would be, like when we bought our Razor, you know, we went to buy it and we were like, is it gonna fit here? And you know, they people tell you, yeah, it'll fit because they wanna make money, right? We're just untrusting people. So we brought our Razor down on a flatbed. But would to you do lot. that? Stop it. We brought our Razor down to a flatbed on the lot. They let us do it, and um, which is the place I work now, so what? And they were awesome enough to let us bring it down and we drove our Razor into a brand new demo model on the lot to make sure that it would fit. And then we signed the paperwork and we bought it. And then we drove Dean's Razor, or no, Dean's Can-Am. He's a pusher. We drove his Can-Am into our trailer to see if it would fit before we bought a uh, trip because it was on sale at Clausen's and he wanted us to have one. So we drove it in and the rest is history. Yeah, so we're saying if you really want to know, drive the car in the trailer. Problem is, these cars don't exist yet. So um, if you put a deposit, I hope it fits. Okay, if you if you follow along and you go back to that 
spreadsheet and you look at the measurements though and you take a tape measure with you when you go to the dealership and you go inside of the trailer and you mark it out properly there you go same same or you go in your driveway and measure your trailer anyway <laughs> yeah yeah all right guys so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed we have another robbie gordon video coming up soon because we got a little bit behind so we mashed some stuff together but hopefully we got out the most important points to you we are super excited to see this car in person and drive it Robbie already agreed that we get to test drive it. So thank you, Robbie, so much. Um, uh, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. It really helps us. Um, hit the button. Click the bell so that you're notified because there's a lot of stuff coming on. We've got some giveaways going on. One right now. More to come. We're giving away some Oxbeam headlights. These guys. Boop, boop. Um, we installed those in our F250 Boosty. There's a video linked below. It tells you all the rules and what you need to do. Subscribe. Like comment on that video, all kinds of other stuff. But thank you to all of you subscribers that are already on here. There's other links below too. So our Facebook group and our Patreon, that's the Cool Kids Club. Um, and I guess uh, can't wait to get out and ride again. We were off-roading tonight. Hopefully we'll show you some of that later. I don't know, sheltering in place still. So thank you guys. Peace. Peace.